over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil also has approximately 12 great archives out there. You're going to get some great education. Check it out right here, right now. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. So... What do we get yeah. going on here? Well, you know, we've been discussing this for some time. Well, basically, what I've been saying is that, as as I see it, this, the going to the Dow, at least for the moment, the Dow, you can see, I'm going to pull this across here. This is the um, daily chart of the Dow with my notations. But essentially, you can see between 34,700 and 32,573, we've been in this range since November. So I always look at this as some, some form of distribution. It doesn't tell you how, how seriously down you can go, but it does say there's distribution and there isn't enough momentum to break out to the upside. At the same time, up until now, we've had a lot of uh, evidence to say that this orange line, this 200 period exponential moving average has been good support. And you can see that in the weekly chart right here. You can see I drew in the rectangle Weeks and weeks ago, I said, I think we're going to be stuck in this range. And now what we're doing is we're going towards the bottom part of the range. And what I did is during one of my shows, uh, during my Tiger Technicians uh, Hour, I, I think it was about three weeks ago, I drew in this blue line to say, that's your midpoint of the whole rectangle formation. If we start to go below that, that's, that's quite serious. And what we should be looking at is if that, that is taken out, we've got to expect that we're going to test the lower part of the band. And that takes you to uh, about the 32,000. We're at 33,163 right now. That takes you to about 32,700, 32,500. 32, then if you look at the S&P, SPXX, uh, there we go. If you look at the S, hmm, why did that not? Let's print it. Let me do it again. S and P. I'll try it again. There it is. You'll see that we we made a high at 41.95 on the 2nd of uh, February, and we've pulled back, and now we are just underneath the 200 period exponential moving average. What's written? And I drew in the rectangle here a couple of weeks ago to say that's what I'm looking at for the S and P at this particular point because of the first time it broke out of this downtrend. These two downtrend lines. I call them an inside track repellent zone it became a propellant zone and we ran up and we've been four five this is the fifth week so far that we're above the the green line but you are starting to see some weakness so i think if you put it together you'll see that the same thing is happening in the qqq we made a, a higher 313.38 on the second we've pulled back we're now under the 200 period moving average here as well we've gone outside the band so i think this is a very important consolidation because it was a spectacular run from the low in January to the high in February. So I think this is what we're looking at at this particular point. That's what I, I can call it just a, a very important consolidation after a very big run up. But it's very interesting. I, I think I mentioned this to you last week um, that the DB, the DBA, which is DB Agriculture Fund, which we've been along, you can see this is the monthly chart on the right. The low was in June of 2020 at 13.25. We went long the very next month at about 13 in the 1370s. And we've been long ever since. We've taken a little bit off. We have made a peak here at 23.01. I like to talk about bar symmetry. And you can see in this particular instance, uh, the, the bar that I chose is a very tiny doji candle from uh, 2019. So the 23.38 high that was made way back in uh 2015, we tumbled all the way down to 1325, and then we came back to that same level at 2301. We just missed making a new a recovery high from that level. But now I think it's, so it's very important that in this particular market phase, we're looking at a, a, a kind of a diverse set of, you've got the metals in the commodities 
soft, soft now. That includes crude oil. But you've got the grains, which are doing quite nicely. Not great, but they're doing quite nicely. They've gone off the 19.25 low uh, of uh, January. So it's a very selective market. I do believe that within the context, if you look at the volatility index, I was talking about this last week, that the volatility index, the VIX index is called, had run up to the 200 period moving average back in, I think it was December. Yeah, it was in December. And it stalled right at the 200 period moving <coughs> average and then came down sharply. And I was anticipating that if you look at the month, this, the weekly charts right here, but this monthly chart on the right, shows you that there's a very subtle bowl formation. And that bowl formation suggests that at least on a short, I'm not sure I can even say intermediate term, but on a shorter term basis, this we're making a slightly higher a low. And that says that we could move up in the, uh, once again, we're in leg B right at the 200 period moving average in the daily, starting to see some movement in the weekly. So I'm watching this really closely because if the VIX index holds any rally and starts to make the 2150 area support and moves uh, potentially higher into the 2380, 2450 area, that's going to continue the sell off in the market. So I think this is very important. I, I don't have evidence right now to say this is it. This is the big one that we're going to go tumbling down, uh, even take out the January low. I just think this is a very important consolidation. That's the way I'm seeing it. So for subscribers to my opening call, we've built up a very nice cash position. We tighten stops on anything that I think is uh, is vulnerable to downside. Um, and I, Basil, I what, what do you what do you think about the 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 inflation in general? I mean, as forget the markets for a second, right? But, Just in general. Right? Yeah. So this is very important. It's, you know, in gas prices, when gas prices go up, it's like instantaneous. Even, even just an eyebrow lift right. says that the prices, you know, immediately the pumps, the, the prices go up. When the prices come down, it takes a long time for them to come down. So three things are happening here. One is, you and I spoke about inflation, oh, a long time ago when the, there wasn't inflation, but what we had both decided on looking at the history that we've gone through in our, our lives, that once the inflationary bubble is taken out, the, the genie's out the bottle, it's really tough to put it back quickly. Yes. It takes a long time. That's number one. Number two is, there has been, I mean, I, I spoke to you about a moment ago about the, that the inflation in the commodities, the soft commodities, the grains. But even then, if you look at this, look at the DBA, the DBA is, um, it's off the high, but it is holding, if you look at the weekly chart, you're seeing it's in the lower range. And I think that that's important. So what's happening here, that, so the second part of it is that there has been inflation, fortunately it's been rotational. And the third thing, and that's what we really have to keep our eye on, bonds, the rates are going higher. And that is in itself an inflationary thing. So I think even right. in, even in inflation, we see rotations. It's very hard to get it back in right. the box. And you know, in that DBA, the DBA is 42% short-term bonds. That, that's right. It's yeah. almost like the dollar, yeah. which is not really the dollar, right? Thanks, Basil. Have a great one. Have a safe one.